everyone! So here's another review quickly about the Aritam uh, color corrector and highlighter. So again, a little backstory on why I purchased these is I was looking for basically color correctors. Um, so I have very purple under eyes because I have extreme, extreme allergies. So no matter what I use, no matter what concealer I use, there's still a little bit of a darkness underneath my under eyes. And I have a slight hollowness underneath my eyes. So you can kind of see I'm wearing the foundation and concealer right now. And you'll see in the demo as well. So kind of a spoiler, I just think color correctors don't do much in my opinion. But I wanted to compare it to my Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Corrector and I have the one in light peach and the Aritam one is peach beige and you'll see in the swatches the color difference but I'm wearing Bobbi Brown here and I'm wearing Aritam here and as you can see there's no real difference so compared to when I wear concealer normally they don't do a whole lot but very quickly I bought the Aritam ones from 86 shop. I believe they also I found a new place similar to 86 shop called Xiao San Meizi. Xiao San Meizi. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Xiao San Meizi, which is I'm not sure why they called it that, but either way, it's 199 NT, which is six dollars, compared to the Bobby Brown one, which is $43. So in terms of price, if you just wanted to try a color corrector. You know, this is six bucks compared to $43. And you get about seven milliliters, which is seven grams. And in this one, you get three grams according to this label. So three grams, you get a lot less, but this is $43. So if you're just looking to try a color corrector like I was, I would get the Aritam one. Um, both of them have some type of serum. This has an ampule and this has a serum. So they're, they claim to kind of help your skin you know, improve and all that kind of stuff. I will say the serum helps in terms of moisture. Um, I get less dryness when I use these, but is does it justify $43? Not really. And for $6, I would say it's okay, but I do find the Bobbi Brown one a little bit more moisturizing, but the Aditam one, I don't really feel much of a difference with this whole ampule claim. Um, but in terms of the effectiveness of color correcting, both of them don't really do much for me. So, but if you just still want to try the concept of color correcting, you know, you could consider this one for $6. And both of them are a click pen form. And let's talk about the highlighter really quickly. I thought this swatched very closely to Max Strobe Cream. And I thought, well, if I put it in sort of the places I want to highlight, those places will look more glowy on top or underneath my foundation. And in the end, spoiler alert, uh, if you don't want to see my demo, is this doesn't really do much. I would rather just buy strobe cream, put in the highlighted places, although it is more expensive. But this just is so little product if you want that strobe cream effect. So I wouldn't recommend this highlighter one. It does moisturize a little bit, but it just does nothing for me. So. Uh, with that being said, let's just move on to the swatches in demo. Alright, so let me swatch the um, two uh, color correctors that I have. Again, this is the Aritam one. Uh, it is the shade Peach Beige. So you can see right here. Well, we can see right here. This is Peach Beige. And unfortunately, I don't have the real packaging in Taiwan. So unfortunately, I don't have the real packaging in Taiwan. They put this sticker around it in Chinese with the ingredients, things like that. So it comes as a clicker pen, just like this. If you hear any shuffling or like jingling, it's my cat sitting right behind me in my chair. I'm like falling off my chair. So it's a clicker pen, which I don't love, I guess. I guess it is a little bit maybe cleaner, but all right. So you kind of see right here. After two clicks, you can see a little bit of the product coming out. So let me swatch this on. So let me swatch this on the back of my hand. Right there. So that is the peach. 
All right, so that's the peach beige. Let me kind of build it up so you can see it better. Okay, so this is the Aritam peach beige uh, against my skin. It's a little bit lighter than I would prefer, but that's okay. So that's the peach beige. And let me compare it now to the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Corrector, which I think a lot of people in the States already know about, to be honest. And I have the shade in Light Peach. And I have the shade for the Bobbi Brown uh, Corrector in Light Peach. And it comes in a doe foot applicator. So I do like that. Oops. So it comes in a doe foot applicator and that's the shade color. And so let me swatch it next to the Auditom one. So this is the Auditom one and this is light peach from Bobbi Brown. So actually the Bobbi Brown one is a little bit more So this one is the Bobbi Brown one, and it's a little bit more orange, while the Auditom one is a bit more pink. So you can see it right there. So that's the difference. So I'll show you later on, I'll show you later on each eye the differences. And the last one I want to swatch is the Auditom highlighter. So also in a click pen, very similar. And it's sort of this light, sort of grayish looking color. Quite pretty actually, sort of moon looking. It reminds me a lot of the MAC strobe cream uh, that they have, but for me, it isn't really something economical to use this small click pen all over your face. That'd be a little bit strange. So it starts to come out and it looks like this sort of color right there. And I'll just put it next to the Auditom one for consistency. Okay. And this is the highlighter. It looks a little bit yellow because over time you'll see the brush head gets a little bit tinted from your foundation. You can put it under your foundation, but I personally don't prefer that. So without further ado, let's put it on my face in the demo. Okay, so now we're gonna demonstrate the highlighter first. So let's demonstrate the Auditom highlighter. This is it again. I'm gonna click out three times. To be honest, uh, I'll let you know already, I'm not a huge, huge fan of this one. Um, I feel like it doesn't really do much, to be honest. And at least it doesn't take away my foundation. So I'll put it on one side first for you to see the difference. But if you powder, it kind of just disappears, so. So this is my side where I just have the regular makeup face cushion, no powder. This is the normal shine, okay? And this is with the highlighter. I'm trying to move my face so you can see. This is the highlighted side. Not highlighted side. I don't see a difference. So is it worth it? Not really. So I don't think you really need the highlighter. Um, for me, if it was sort of like packaged like the strobe cream where you could put it all over your face for that shine all over, that's great. But I intentionally wanted it to highlight, you know, the highlighted points of my face, but it really doesn't do much. So uh, let's get into the peach corrector. I'm going to do the Auditom on this side. Uh, again, this is in peach beige. I'm going to do one click because there were still some remaining from the last time. So you can see right now I don't have anything but I have my cushion foundation from earlier and I'm just gonna apply it a little bit more liberally so you could see the shade differences compared to the Bobbi Brown in a second. So normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I would just put it in the sort of this section in the purple area but I want you to see the shade difference a little bit more. I'll blend it upwards. So that is the Auditom one. And now, let's get into the Bobbi Brown one, which is infinitely more expensive. 
but does it work better? So again, I'm going to apply this more than I would normally. So you could see the shade differences. And you can see I have some redness and purpleiness right there. So let me get up closer so you can see the shade differences. Aritam and Bobbi Brown. So you can see already this one is much more pinky uh, compared to the light peach. And again, I have extreme allergies and purpleness around my eyes. So I'm trying to cancel that. Generally, orange will work better, but this one is also called the peach corrector, but it's much more pink compared to the Bobbi Brown. So let's see how they work. Um, so I'm going to blend it out just with my normal sponge. And normally I wouldn't let it sit that long. But they both blend out pretty well, which you will see in a second, whereas I'm doing it now. I applied more than I would normally. But you kind of see it blends to nothing, but let's do the peach side using the other side. So just blending as much as possible. All right, so you let me know which one you think is better. Of course, I haven't used my concealer yet, but you tell me which one looks a little bit less purpley. So, um, of course I haven't put concealer on yet, but this is, again, Bobbi Brown, Aritam. And honestly, off the bat, this one cancels a little bit more of the purpliness compared to this one. This one is a little bit too pink, in my opinion, for my skin tone. So I'm going to put on some concealer as I would normally. I'm just using the Maybelline. Uh, most of it has kind of, I think it's the Luminex. The Maybelline Luminex um, highlighter. I think it was a highlighter or something like, or brightening highlighter. Highlighting concealer. I think it only has one shade. I can't remember. But either way, many people have seen this before. And I'm running out already, but... I'm going to try to apply the same amount on both sides to blend out and try not to smear away the concealer on the bottom. So you can let me know which one you think is better. So this is what I would normally do. I don't use correctors that much to be honest now. I just feel like no matter what I do, I will always have purpliness, but it can help in the slightest bit, I suppose. So I'm just blending out this one, the Auditom side, and I did pack on the concealer quite heavily. I just squeezed out way too much, but in the mirror, I could kind of see that the hollowness of my under eye circle is a little bit apparent on the Auditom side. And let me try with the Bobbi Brown side. This is padding with a wet sponge. I find that a wet sponge just helps blend so well. Like this. All right, so that's as blended as I can get it. I have some very fine lines under my eyes, which is sometimes a little bit hard. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Let me dim my lighting. So I'm getting a little bit closer. Hopefully the lighting's okay. But this is the Audi Tom side and Bobbi Brown side. Now, to be honest, even on camera, it doesn't look that different, to be honest. Um, in person, I feel like the Bobbi Brown is a little bit more neutralized, the slightest bit. But the difference is so minimal, I feel like for the Auditum one is much better. It's only six dollars or so. Let me turn on my lighting. All right, so here's the final verdict from after this demo is that the difference is so minimal that honestly, I feel like you could just get away with, with the Auditum one if you really wanted a cor color corrector. But to be honest, as I'm blending, it's. I feel like with just a regular concealer, perhaps a little thicker, could neutralize better. So overall, actually, I don't think it's a massive difference to use color correctors. 
Um, they do help slightly when it's very severe, but it's such a minor difference for a person like me who has very severe purpleness under my eyes and also some slight hollowness right here. You can actually skip the color corrector itself. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. If you have any further questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you later. Bye.